think we'll take one or two more questions. Um, so let me see. Um, Can I speak? Go ahead, okay. Vikram Sequeira. Hi, uh, thanks for everything, guys. This is great. I have a two-part question. Um, first, uh, I think one of you said that um, memories can be created. So I'm curious as to the reverse of that, which is, uh, can memory be erased? And um, I guess the second part is more of an ethical question. And if we're at that point or get to that point soon, um, should we use that technique for you know, victims of trauma or PTSD? I, you Rudy, know, I'll just... do you want to answer that question? But well, he said, can memories be erased? Well, access to memories can be erased. Hmm? Access to memories can be yes. erased. I think we have to... But wait, it, it, in your own research on Alzheimer's, the, the memories are gone, right? Access to memories is yeah. different than memories. Right. Are gone. I'm, I'm saying, are, are, aren't, it, doesn't Alzheimer's destroy the memory? It's gone. Yes. So in Alzheimer's, what correlates with dementia is loss of synapses. Synapses need to fire to recall information. It's a different thing to say you've lost the memory versus I've lost the synapse that allows me to recall the memory. Oh, maybe we still don't know until we answer the earlier questions about yeah. how memory is stored, what's really happening in an Alzheimer's patient other than losing synapses to recall memories or to learn. Yeah, I mean, I have to say I have some anecdotal evidence uh, from my mother who's 92 and has lost uh, much of her memory that every once in a while, some weird memory that I would swear was lost gets <laughs> recalled from nowhere, and then, of course, it's gone again. So uh, I don't know how one it, would even study that, but... Yeah, but uh, there's a lot of redundancy. There, there, there are so many different ways to recall the same memory, so many different pathways. You may lose the first five that were most commonly used, but then one day you hit that ninth one that was still there. But this is still all dealing with access and recall still doesn't address the question of how the memories are stored or where they are. That's still the open question.